Hi there, Brittany from Equipping Godly Women here, and today I'm going to show you how to fold palm crosses. So if you go to church on Palm Sunday and you go to a church where they hand out these big, long palms, they're huge, I'm going to show you how to fold these palm fronds into a cute little palm cross that you can take home with you. After all, if you go home with palm palm fronds, you're like, I don't know what to do with these. Um, but these palm crosses are super cute. So I'm going to show you how to make them today. So making palm crosses is actually super simple. You just start with a long palm. And again, these are super long. You can't even see the whole thing on the video, um, but you'll be able to see what to do. So some palms, depending on if your church split it in advance, you can see some palms are actually a double palm. So if you have one that is two, you will want to start by just splitting them in half. Um, it will make it a little bit easier to fold when you only have a single layer, and then you can make two palm crosses instead of just one. So we'll go ahead and split that up. And you might have little stringy things on there as well. You can just go ahead and peel those right off as well as if on the side, if it has like a kind of hard, like a spine on the side, you can peel that off as well. It'll make it a little bit skinnier, but it'll make it a lot easier to work with. So, okay, once we have our prepped palm and it's looking pretty good, if the bottom looks gross, you can trim that if you want. If the top is like really skinny at the top, you can trim that off if you want, but I'm not gonna worry about any of that yet. So you'll start with your palm and the first thing you want to do is to take the thick end of it and fold it down somewhere in between a about a quarter and a third of the way. Now don't pinch this yet. You wanna keep it very loose because that will allow you to adjust it later. But you'll go ahead and fold it about a quarter to a third, depending on how like pointy and skinny your end is. If your end is really skinny like this one is, then you will want to fold it a little less because that's not gonna be really helpful. Um, that's gonna kind of be extra. So um, I'm gonna fold mine closer to a quarter just because I have kind of like a little pokey skinny on the end. So we'll start with that. Now, once you have your palm folded, the short side here that is facing you, this is going to be the front of your palm. This is the part that you will be looking at when you are all done. And the length of this short section here is going to be the length of your finished palm cross. So for example, finished palm cross, is gonna be about this length. However much you fold over is going to be how long it's gonna be, and this is the front that we're looking at here. But as you are folding it, you're going to primarily be looking at the back of the palm. So I'm gonna to have to do this backwards so that I can show you. So you're gonna to wanna to flip it so that the long side is facing you. And again, I'm doing this backwards so I can show you. You want the long side facing you. And once you have the front, like the tall part of the palm, you are going to want to start making the arms. So the way that you do that is somewhere around the top two thirds or so, you will fold it over at a 90 degree angle wherever you want that arm to be. So there's lots of ways that you can fold palms, but I find this way is the easiest because you can kind of see what you're doing. So, so far that short part that you already folded, that's the front. And then in the back, you're looking at the back and you're folding out the arm one way. So this is going to be to the right. This is the front of it with a long palm and in the back, you're making the right arm right now. So fold that over and then go ahead and fold it back the other way. Um, and you can kind of like pinch it a little bit, but don't pinch it too much because if you don't pinch it too much, you can always adjust it later. So after you have put it out at a right angle and you folded, there's one arm and then just go back the other way. So I'm kind of making a loop all the way around it, fold back the other way. Um, and I've got a loop all the way around. So now I'm going to show you the front. This is my front of my palm so far. You have the vertical part and you have a bar that like wraps all the way around the front and then you have this part hanging out. So once you've gotten this far, so far you've made your cross, you just need a way to secure it because if I let go, it would like fly all over the place. So the way that you're securing it is if you go and look at the back, again, that's the part where the tab is you want to kind of fold this up at a 45 degree angle this way so it pokes out in between the top and the arm so hopefully you can see that again this is that you were looking at this is the back of the cross so see how it's pointing out that way and then i'm going to show you the front so right now this is the front of the cross and this is poking out from behind you'll fold it down over this way it kind of makes like a sash 
So, so far on the front of the palm, you've got a sash going. And if you look at the back, you're going to fold it across this way so that we can go up the other side. So it's not super secure yet, but that's fine. So once you've folded it across the bottom, now you're gonna sash up the other way. So the first time you did a sash kind of going down diagonal, this time you're making a sash going up diagonal the exact opposite way. So, so far you have, and it's kind of hard to show you with my fingers in the way, but you have the top that you've made, you've got an arm, you've got another arm, and then you just looped around for a sash going down one way and a sash going up the other way, and then tuck it behind. And so at this point, the front is, that's pretty much what it's going to look at. And if you didn't pinch the top, you can kind of adjust, like if you want it longer or shorter, you can adjust the arms at this point um, because you won't be able to do that very much longer. So adjust it however you want it. I think that looks good for me. And you can kind of pinch at this point however you want the arms to be. So now at this point, it looks good on the front. You have the vertical piece, you have the horizontal that you looped all the way around. You've got a sash going down one way, you've got a sash going up the other way. But in the back, the last thing you need to do is just to secure this extra piece. So at the back, you have a lot of loops um, and you are just gonna use this extra end here to kind of loop through and kind of tie it like enough. So for me, I find it easiest to start on the bottom and go up or you could start at the top and go down. Either way is fine, just kind of depending on how you folded it. So let me see if I can poke this in here. So, so far, hopefully you can see this, how my sash, the second sash went like up. So from this side, it's going down and then I'm just like taking it down and then like looping through all these loops here to kind of tie it in a knot. Hopefully you can see that. If this is kind of difficult to like see what I'm doing, I do also have a post on Equipping Godly Women where I have still pictures with step-by-step -step instructions so you can see every individual step as well. Um, but hopefully between the written instructions and showing you, that'll kind of, you'll figure it out. It really is pretty simple. So once I've looped it through once, I'm gonna loop it through a second time just to make sure that it is nice and secure. All right, so once you've looped it through a couple of times, you can see this is the back. The back looks a little bit messy. Basically you have the back of the sashes and then whatever is left over is like just looping through to kind of hold it secure. And then the front again, still looks like this and you can still adjust the top vertical piece a little bit. You might be able to adjust the sides a little bit, but by this point it's pretty secure. You can fold down the sides if you haven't already. Um, and there is your cross. Now every cross is going to look a little bit different. I've made several of them and they are different sizes, um, different widths, just depending on the palm frond that you get. It's kind of the luck of the draw when you are at church. Um, some are thicker, some are thinner but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just fun to fold them, do your best, give them to your kids, um, impress the people around you at church and have a little memento of, or a keepsake to hold on to. If you wanna keep this for a long time, you can press it in a book the same way that you may have done flower pressing a long time ago, um, or just let it dry. If you are going to do these though, make sure that you are doing them in the first couple of days. It's still at this point when the palms are new, they're still very pliable. But if you wait a day or two, they do dry out very quickly. So go ahead on Palm Sunday, if you're going to make your palm cross, go ahead, fold it up. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. Did you make the palm cross? Did it work out for you? What did you think? Um, I hope you try this out and enjoy your palm cross.